Back on Christmas Eve, I gave you guys a little SOS about something Nintendo was going to be extremely mad about, and that was the creation of flash carts for Nintendo Switch. We finally have them after all of these years. And as always, in this happens every time one of these devices comes into existence, there was a ton of debate about the legality of such things in the comment section. And I'm not here to pass judgment or tell you what to do, I'm here to deliver the news. And well, at the time that was just a post with a video evidence on Twitter, it turns out we now have a full website for these flashcards with additional information. And since I'm just here to deliver you guys the news, and yes, Nintendo is gonna be pretty mad about this, we're gonna go ahead and look over this website. I will not be linking the URL to it down below, but you can literally Google the name of this website and probably easily find it. And this is just because, look, Nintendo keeps winning lawsuits against these websites. I don't need them also coming after me for linking to said website, but it is important for news purposes for us to go through this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this because we now have a name for the Nintendo Switch flashcard. It is called the MIG Switch. It is a third-party backup development device for the Nintendo Switch not endorsed or licensed by Nintendo of Japan. Before ordering or using the MIG Switch, you must carefully document yourself about the legality of creating backups of your own game cartridges in your country slash jurisdiction. Like, they are trying very hard to be like, hey, Nintendo, don't come after us. We're not endorsing piracy. Backing up your own legally owned games is surprisingly not permitted in every country and can constitute a serious offense in some. MIG Switch does not approve the use of its device with ROMs of games that you do not own. Download from the internet or owned by a friend or any outside source. Besides the fact that it is illegal, it will void our warranty and support. Uh, so this is something that pops up right when you visit the website. They are basically doing a big warning. Please don't come after us. We're not legally responsible. This is only supposed to be in countries where it's legal. Have a good day. Uh, but we all know what these flashcards are primarily going to be used for. And now here's their website, the MIG Switch. Kind of a interesting logo. Uh, it says, make a change, live free, join the revolution, easy backup, plug and play. Uh, now, what's interesting, of course, is down here, they, they kind of show a timeline of events. Back in November, they were doing final testing. This is on 11-6-2023. Then here, uh, this was just back on the 20th of uh, December, we were seeing that they were having reviews being sent out. No one's actually reviewed the product as far as we're aware just yet. There's probably still an NDA. Uh, and they are looking to do distribution here in January. So they don't want to sell these devices direct to consumer. Uh, maybe this is to avoid some of the legalities involved, but they are accepting distributor pre-orders for the product. And they can email them if you're interested for more information. Deliveries will start in January of 2024 in limited quantities of full availability in March or April. So these will be more widespread uh, as we get closer to summer next year. Uh, but there's a lot of high demand we're receiving, so be, please bear in mind that we can complete all pre-orders so you can receive your MIGSwitch unit. Uh, and then it says, important note, we do not sell retail to end users. And this is a big one because this is how they can avoid some of the legal issues they could run into with Nintendo because if they sell direct to consumer and it's a piracy device, which I understand they're trying to say, it's not a piracy device, but the courts find it, then there's a bunch of uh, fees and all these things that they get in trouble for. Whereas at this point, if they're like selling through Amazon or through some third party distributor, they don't really get necessarily in trouble. They're just be told, hey, you can't make this device anymore and you can't make it available for distributors. It's it's a layer of legal protection for them in case Nintendo ever does try to shut this down. Uh, of course, now we got to get to the product itself. Here's what it kind of looks like or what it should look like with the full... Uh, a full retail event here says plug and play, easy backup. Uh, the micro SD card is notably not included, which isn't, it's, it's pretty normal. Uh, we still don't have a price on what this is going to cost yet, but it says the MIG Switch is the only backup and development device for all Nintendo Switch consoles, regardless of the version, firmware, type, whether it's a regular or a light, and it does not require any installation or modification of the console. It's simply plug and play. Easy use is always on our mind, and developing the MIG Switch, you can see the results in the download section, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, and the, the device consists of two products, the MIG Switch card, which uh, a micro SD card is required and not included, and then the MIG Switch dumper to back up your legally owned Switch games. So not only 
Are they including the thing that you need to, uh, you know, play your games? They're actually giving you a local game dumper. And some people are going to be pretty excited about that one because this is not something that we talked about in our last video because it wasn't talked about in the tweet. But it appears that you're getting two products. One of them is the actual flash card to play. One of them is the ability to dump your games without modifying your Switch. So for some people, you're actually going to find that really cool. And that's completely legal, by the way. So maybe this is their way of skirting the legality, saying, hey, we're actually giving them a device to dump all of your you know, games onto this. And then you could just have one device that plays all of your games. Now, it's a little weird in how this device works because uh, you do have to, you know, Oh, you keep reinserting it essentially to change games. Uh, it's kind of cumbersome, but it does work. Now, we're going to get into some of the issues that this might cause and how Nintendo might play with potentially banning stuff like this on local systems. We'll get to that in a moment, but let's get to the backup game section here. Uh, so it says backup your games. No C, whatever. Uh, to back up your games, you will either need a MIG switch dumper or a modified switch with the NX dump tool and the proper parameters you can find below. And then these are all the instructions. Again, we're not going to link uh, to this website or any of this stuff, but this is just sort of um, what you need to do in order to make sure the files are actually going to dump and work correctly with their flash card. On uh, the download section here, You'll see you will find in this section the latest mix of firmware uh, to download it's available. Current version is just 1.0. And then all the instructions to set it up with your micro SD card and everything else. You know, how to launch games here. It says select the game to launch by ejecting and reinserting the game card. This is something that when you guys saw that video clip, some people were like, man, that, that's kind of cumbersome. But again, this is something that doesn't require modifying your Switch. So there is that. Upon launching the game, the same game will appear every reinsert. So once you launch a game... Once you reinsert the cartridge, that's the first game that's going to pop up. Uh, to unlock, eject the game card when the LED light turns green. All right. Uh, online mode is only recommended with a fully complete game dump. Now, this is interesting because what they're trying to note here is they want to avoid getting your console banned. This is the big thing people were talking about because Nintendo does an online check. So if you are using this in a legal way with games you own, it's entirely possible Nintendo won't be able to detect that you are using this flash card and thus you'll be able to play your games online just fine because you're just playing games you already own and those those you know that the, the little indicators they use online to indicate what copy of game this is would literally just be with you versus a ROM file that's been downloaded online that will have you know thousands of different people trying to use it Nintendo can easily identify as that is an online file and we can ban your switch right so that is what they're trying to say here is please only do it with a fully complete game dump of your own game dump right like they're trying to make sure don't get your switch banned because that will happen if you're downloading roms illegally to uh, play them and pirate and then you connect online it's it's going to get your switch banned it's just going to happen uh, if a valid certificate guard card id set or card uid is missing online mode is not recommended as it can lead to a ban and this is what happens with the online roms that's what happens with online roms uh the certificate and everything else gets invalidated by nintendo because they realize this is a widely spread rom online and then they can detect that once you connect to the internet versus just a local dump of your own file that no one's ever had before only you have ever touched and you have put that complete dump onto this device again it is illegal to share that with friends by the way Yes, you can't like dump your game and then share it with a friend, at least not in the United States. That is not a legal thing to do. But if you want to back it up yourself and put it on the flash card from a legal perspective, at least here in the U.S., you actually should be able to do that. And I don't know that Nintendo can detect anything irregular in this case. Um, and then they give you instructions on how to dump it. And then this is where their contact us form is. And again, if you just type MIG switch into Google, you could certainly find all of this, but I'm not here to uh, provide all the direct links and all of the exact instructions. I, w I just want to say that this device to me uh, is very, very interesting. One, I didn't realize until this website opened up that it actually included a second device to allow you to dump your games. That's pretty cool. And there's going to be a lot of really unique legal use cases for this. Now, again, Nintendo's still going to be pissed because we all know the reason this device is going to blow up is piracy. We're, we're, not, we're not idiots, right? It, it's the pirates that are going to make this be this big extreme thing. And for many of you with physical games, you might go, man, if I have to constantly pop it out and reinsert and pop it out and reinsert, 
What's the extra hassle of grabbing the physical cartridge and just sticking it in and then t popping it out and putting a new one in? I get it. I mean, outside of not having to carry those physical cartridges everywhere with you, yeah, I get it. it it's not that much more convenient other than just, hey, I can have all my games on one cartridge, I guess, but then it's still kind of annoying as you have to keep popping it out and reinserting it to Switch games. And if you got like thousands of games, man, can you imagine how many times you'd have to do that to get to like game number 320 or something? <laughs> It'd be, it'd be pretty annoying, but I just want to say that I this is a start. Obviously, as the firmware improves, there might be a way for them to turn this into something more than this. Right now, their goal is to release this device without with, with people being able to use it and not getting banned. Again, if you do download the illegal ROMs online, I mean, look, it's your risk. Stay off the internet, or you just don't care. I mean, do I really care that much about actual pirates? Not really. If you want to pirate games, I'm not going to chastise you for it. I just don't support it. Uh, but for those of you that want to use this device legally, hey, now you know what it's called. Maybe you'll see it appear at some, some retail outlets. Again, no idea I'm pricing on this. And it clearly is from a foreign country. Uh, I'm seeing the, the copy right here. I believe this is Greece. Oh, Russia. I just noticed, if you look at the bottom of the website, uh, the product is developed and produced in, a, in the Russian Federation. So... Uh, it is definitely made in, in uh, Mother Russia over there. So take that for what you will as well. Good luck, Nintendo. They pulled out of Russia, so I don't really know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. I'm just trying to provide more information on this really, really big story that Nintendo is going to be super pissed about. Some of you guys will be happy with. Pirates are going to have a field day. Uh, and again, Nintendo Switch 2 is probably coming out early or mid next year anyways. This was already the plan before this device even existed. So don't think that because this exists, Nintendo's going to rush Switch 2 out the door. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, whatever's going on with Switch 2 is already in the pipeline. Heck, there could be a January event. I mean, that's a, a Zooey tech rumor. He's a PlayStation rumor guy. But hey, he said a January event. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. You know, it's entirely possible. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.